I don't know why my children or my grandchildren to be not able to have proper local food. And this is why I opened Enjoy Eating House and Bar to keep the tradition alive and to carry on with the culture. Hi, I'm Joel. I'm the chef owner of Enjoy Eating House and Bar. Before I started Enjoy Eating House and Bar, I was running my own restaurant as well. For the past six years, I was doing Thai food. Over here at Enjoy Eating House, we do mainly local cuisine, but very largely influenced by my experience in Thai cuisine, as well as for my grandmom, who was a very, very good cook. She left me about two years ago, so I thought, Let's mix a bit of my experience in Thailand, a bit of recipes from my family. I felt that the tradition in Singapore is dying and we wanted to keep it alive. How many places we go to in Singapore have local food being cooked by locals? Very, very few. I think many local chefs are too focused on Western cuisine and not focusing enough on Asian cuisine as well. I think it's very sad that such a tradition is dying and people are losing touch of what we are used to and what we see every day. Over here at Enjoy Eating House and Bar, we have four signature dishes which we also name it as the Si Ta Ting Wang of Enjoy Eating House. First and foremost will be the Tsuka Bihun. First, we wok fry the Bihun and infuse the wok hang inside. We add the braising sauce from the pig trotters and into the noodles after that and we serve it with some vegetables and mushrooms. Second would be our take on the chilli crab. We are using prawns instead, so it's more accessible to everyone. For our take on the chilli prawns, we will first use for the wok to wok steer the prawns to lock in the flavours. Then we will stir fry it with some shallots and tomatoes, add in the sauce and chicken with some cornstarch and an egg inside. We dish up prawns so it's easier to eat. And I have many friends who are allergic to, to crabs more than prawns and, I, and they are unable to get a taste of what the chilli crab is. That's why we are using prawns instead. Over this recent few years, there were a lot of articles online about Singapore cuisine being lost and the Mission Kai Singapore only has two or three local cuisine here. I thought we need to do more to put Singapore cuisine on the world map. And so I thought to myself, why am I still championing Thai food when I'm a Singaporean? Why not try to do something that will bring me back to my roots? We wanted to keep the decor something more close to our heart, something homely, something comfortable. I'm also very lucky to have found a team that stood by me throughout all these years. The third dish is a barbecue pork dish, which is influenced by my experience in Thai cuisine. We marinate it with about 20 ingredients and we grill it over a hot grill until it's slightly charred outside and tender inside. We serve it with a sweet tamarind based chili sauce. And finally, would be our brandy white fish soup. For the fish soup, we only use local sea bass and snapper from a farm of Pulau Ubin. First, we will take the bones and heads of the fish and we will fry until it's fragrant. After frying all the ingredients, we will boil the fish bones in water for hours until it turns rich and creamy. And we serve it with some vegetables, mushrooms and a shot of brandy. The thing that keeps me going every day is making people happy through the whole experience over at my restaurants. 